Fareed Zakaria GPS, seen in Sunday morning, 10 Eastern and Pacific. Rashid Mohammed Rashid was the first business leader ever in the Egyptian government. He was one of the liberals, the so-called reformers. Nine days ago, he lost his job when Mubarak fired the entire cabinet. Egyptian prosecutors have since banned him from traveling and frozen his assets. He offers a rare insider's look at the highest levels of the Egyptian government. Do you think President Mubarak was deeply disappointed by the fact that uh, President Obama has, in the end, uh, asked for him uh, to resign? Well, I, I can tell you now, I'm not an official person. I can say almost whatever I want to say. I think the position of President Obama, the position of the uh, American government, was extremely short-sighted. I don't want even to say stupid. Uh, there is so much interference. They shouldn't actually get involved in this. I think uh, at the end of the day, uh, the record of the United States uh, interference in many of these events in the past have showed how disastrous it, it ended up to be. Uh, I think uh, it is positive uh, for the rest of the world to support Egypt in making the democratic transition, but I think it is not in the right of President Obama or the American government or any other government to dictate on Egypt what to do. If Mubarak leaves, uh, the, the military stays, the regime stays in power, the ones you know, who oppose the reform stay in power. Does anything change? Well, I personally believe that uh, the best uh, scenario for Egypt is for President Mubarak to stay, finish his term. I think what President Mubarak have said uh, four days ago is a very uh, clear and a very strong message for the transition. Uh, since uh, his speech, uh, action have been taken on the ground. I believe that Egypt needs uh, that transition. I believe that Mubarak can do that transition. I personally believe that he will uh, uh, push towards these uh, changes to be done. And it's not easy. We all know it's not easy. But I believe that uh, the, the alternative is chaos and the alternative is uh, just jumping into the unknown. And I believe that uh, he has the will to do that. Uh, there is a lot of people that have changed in the last few days. There are so many faces that have been uh, removed. We, we, we have some uh, promising faces, but we still, of course, have a lot of uh, resistance. We still have people who assume that things will go back to normal, but they will not. Egypt is a great country. It has a great uh, uh, young uh, population. It has a great future. And I think it is time now to let the future uh, happen by the young people, not by history. Why did you not join the government uh, that was created uh, about a week ago? Uh, the, 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 old, the old government was fired, but you were invited to, uh, to join, join the new one. You chose not to. Why? Well, uh, the reality, of course, was that uh, we had to resign the old government on Saturday. On Sunday, the new prime minister uh, asked me, invited me to join the government. I personally felt that... Uh, what is happening in Egypt now and the consequences of the events of the last few days will probably need a new uh, direction. The Prime Minister has his own uh, views about uh, what he would like to do. He has the right to choose new faces. He has the right maybe to change uh, some of the policies. And that was the reason why I uh, presented to him my apology. And uh, he gracefully accepted that. Uh, but even after that uh, discussion, we had a lot of discussion about uh, how to help him to set up uh, the uh, succession. Uh, but I was very clear that what we are going to face in the next few weeks is going to be different from what we had in the past. But then you face these prosecutors' uh, uh, investigations. Do you have any sense as to, uh, are, the, are these an attempt to in some way uh, keep you quiet? Or um, what do you think is, uh, is behind these prosecutors' charges? Well, I don't know. I, uh, I have all respect to our prosecutor, but uh, I, I only know one thing, that if I was a minister in Egypt uh, on uh, Sunday or Monday morning, uh, I would not have had that situation today. But I believe that uh, this thing will be cleared, and I know that uh, the, general the general prosecutor will be dealing fairly with all uh, the issues, yeah. Do you worry about the people out on the streets? Uh, do you worry that they, this, is, this is a Muslim Brotherhood uh, movement that will take over the country and turn it into a kind of Islamic state? Well, we have many challenges. Uh, it, is, uh, it is well known that there is, of course, a strong uh, Muslim Brotherhood movement. Uh, we are all aware that what is the agenda that they have. 
But I genuinely believe that uh, what we have seen in the last 10 days have been initiated by the young people of Egypt that were probably, as I said, uh, were restricted despite the political reform that have been happening of having uh, a voice and a share. Uh, the system were not allowing them enough. Uh, although that we have uh, made so many political changes in opening up, uh, everybody knows that the Facebook have been uh, one of the many important factors that made this happen. But Facebook was an outcome of the political reform. Egypt have never restricted internet. Egypt have opened up uh, freedom of speech. I think we need to trust now in the young people of Egypt and we need to trust in that uh, positive spirit that have been created. You said uh, a, a few days ago that these events have taken Egypt's economy back 10 years. That's a pretty grim prognosis. Uh, do you really think that it will take that long to, to get back to, uh, to where you were? Well, uh, Farid, you know, I mean, business uh, needs stability. Uh, business needs clarity of direction, and they need uh, definitely a positive environment. Today, unfortunately, we don't have any of those. I, I, I believe Egypt has a huge potential. We have worked very hard in the last six years to develop the economy. Uh, many, many people around the world have uh, seen the proof that Egypt can deliver. And uh, today, the challenge is uh, first to, to resume law and order. We need to bring law and order back into the country. We need to bring back security into the country. We need to uh, give the right uh, messages to the business in terms of business environment. And that is probably one of the challenges now, especially when uh, many, many business uh, people are under attack. But also more important than that, uh, we need also to prove that the transition will be smooth. And that's why I believe President Mubarak is key to that. And we, we need to ensure the business community that at the end of this transition, Egypt will be a stable, uh, democratic, and uh, a, a, a st a economically uh, business-friendly society. Rashid Mohammed Rashid, pleasure to have you on. Thank you very much.